The Mardi Gras season is now over and the Lenten season is upon us. That also means we're at the peak of demand for Louisiana crawfish. However, crawfish producers are struggling to meet that demand. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, right now crawfish farmers just can't make ends meet. It's going to be a tough crawfish season for David Savoy. Season uh, started out really, really slow, has picked up a little bit in the last couple of weeks. We're still running somewhere in 40 percent of last year, and, and that's not to say we're 40 percent down. We're 60 percent down with the dollars running about 50 percent. Savoy says rains from Hurricane Gustav are the reason why these traps are usually empty. That was enough water dump to where we had water on top of the ground, four or five inches everywhere in all of these ponds. The mama crawfish came out, dropped their babies, and they ended up in the puddles because nobody was ready to hold this water and everybody advises you not to. And the crawfish, the little crawfish died. The mama crawfish didn't get back to the holes because the water came off too quick. They ended up in puddles and became victims of either just the water drying up, uh, coons, birds, uh, predators, whatever. And it looks like we lost not only the first baby crop, but also maybe 50, 60 percent of the old holdover crawfish. Savoy says on an average day in an average season, each one of his guys goes out in the pond and comes back with about 20 sacks of crawfish. Well, that's not the case this season. So far, his best is five sacks per person, and usually it's closer to two or three. Will we make it up totally? There's no way possible that we'll ever make up what we haven't caught yet. It's just not going to happen. It's the crop could would have to increase tenfold, and that that just doesn't happen. To make the financial situation worse, Savoy says most crawfish producers flooded their ponds when diesel was at more than three dollars a gallon. Another loss he just can't make up. If you were to compare the dollars we were getting last year, the dollars we were getting this year, crawfish to the former right now would have to be in the neighborhood of four dollars a pound. Which put up live, which would put them somewhere in the five or six dollar range to the consumer, which is really not a viable deal. So when when you look at it now, and the farmer's getting around two dollars right now, uh, the consumer is still getting a pretty good deal considering everything we've had in it and the losses we've suffered so far. To make sure you're not at a loss when you want crawfish this season, Savoy has this advice. Find your local farmer that's willing to sell to you. You'll have the freshest product. You'll have the best product. Uh, I'm going to do, I always do the best I can to sell to the consuming public directly the best product I have. And most farmers will do that, the ones that will sell to the public. And just uh, find your farmer and take a little ride out in the country and see what's going on. Uh, buy direct, give him a few extra dimes, that's all he's going to ask for and it, it'll help his situation out too. And that will help ease the pinch of what will surely be one shell of a crawfish season. In Acadia Parish, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Savoie hopes that as we start to see some warmer temperatures, we'll see more crawfish, but even then he says that won't be enough to make up for the losses caused by last year's hurricanes.